Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trains here. So in this video we're taking a look at what I thought was going to be our winter one-off, but it seems like it's some kind of series. It's this, it is the uh, push along, die cast, whatever you want to call it, Trackmaster 2 thing, uh, Snow Thomas. Uh, and this item has got some really interesting things happening with it, and now that it seems like it's part of a series, as they've just released pictures of a Nia in a similar paint scheme, I'm really excited to take a look at this one. So what are you waiting for? Let's do it. This is what this uh, push along metal engine, very unclear what these are called at the moment, um, Trackmaster 2 compatible Thomas, uh, Winter Thomas is, uh, looks like. And you can see again, I think it's really weird that although they're doing these special edition pictures, uh, which is, you know, like good, I guess, it's weird that it doesn't say like, you know, Snow Thomas or something. And I think that would be much less confusing. I don't know why, like, it's not very hard. If you're gonna redesign the packaging, why wouldn't you put like Winter Thomas or Snow Thomas or something to make it clearer um, what is actually going on here. But you can see that's what he looks like in the packaging. This is what the back looks like. Again, like, how hard would it be to put Snow Thomas on here? I don't understand. Um, interestingly, uh, I've looked at the bottom of this and this is a factory error. Uh, mine is missing the screw on the front. Um, if we just compare this to another Thomas, or are they all missing the screw on the front? No, it looks like they all don't have that screw there. Or it's a different style. So maybe it's not actually a factory error. I'm doing a comparison. Oh yeah, no, you can see. That's so weird. I can't believe I've never noticed that before. How random. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to crack this guy open and see what he is like. Choo-choo! All right, so this is the uh, Push Along Snow slash Winter Thomas out of his packaging. And you'll see this is actually quite an extensive uh, redeco. It's not just uh, a little slap of paint on there or a different print, it's quite extensively different. So first of all, let's have a look at that face. Uh, again, it's just the classic Thomas face, but you can see they've given him some nice rosy cheeks here. That's really nice. I really like that. Um, that is good to see. Uh, you'll see the big thing on the front here is obviously that he's got this brand new, or at least brand new as far as I'm aware, snowplow piece. Uh, originally I thought this might be like detachable, but it is not. It is coupled in in the same way the couplings are. So if you do this comparison to this is the normal Thomas mold. And you can see here they've attached it somehow into the coupling. So unfortunately you can't remove this snowplow, um, which I thought you might be able to, but you can see here that it does kind of pivot a bit so it shouldn't get in the way of any of your layouts. And then you can see here that the design on this Thomas is actually really, really nice. I am a big fan. Um, you can see they've recolored here the smoke box, so it's a gray color with that kind of glitter in there, like white glitter flex, which I think is good for a winter theme. Um, you can see that what they've actually done, and that was revealed when you look at the back, this Thomas is actually painted white. Um, and then all of the blue detailing you see along here is actually a print. So if we come really close, so I can get the camera on, it's gonna focus. You can see here it's that mini style of print, um, which means it's that like kind of 3D printed, I don't know how exactly how they do it. Um, but this one is really crisp. Like from a distance, you would not know that it is a print and not painted on. So I think that's really, really cool. I really like that. Um, the detailing on there is really nice. It's a very cool effect, um, that kind of snow covered streaky effect. I think that looks really nice. Again, you can see here we've got the uh, Season 21, oh sorry, 24 details with the side rails and the rivets on there. Um, again, unfortunately you get nothing on the back. That is a little bit of a rip. It would be nice if that would be painted that kind of like that blue. And again, it's a little bit weird when you look at him from the front too, because it's obviously also white. Um, you've also got the much lighter running board. So you can see this is like the normal red color and you can see this is like kind of a peach almost, I would say kind of a salmon. Salmon's probably a closer color. Uh, you've got blue, but again, you know, this is like the normal dark blue. You've got a quite a light blue. It's like a baby blue um, used here for the wheels. Um, again, another nice touch matches the snowplow, which is cool. And then you've got the uh, bottom here, which is made from that same plastic as the smoke box, which has that fleck in it. And again, you just see you've got Thomas's name written on the bottom. So yeah, I actually think this is a really, really nice special edition kind of variant of Thomas. Um, this is definitely my favorite variant that I've seen so far. And again, it's one of the variants, the few variants, I think maybe the only variants, to be honest, that they've done for um, these push along engines that makes sense. Like, yes, a winter theme, especially with this exclusive or this, at least as far as I'm aware, you know, pretty uncommon snowplow attachment on the front. Like this is nice, this makes sense. 
Um, this is a good redeco that people will want. It's very well done and it, it makes sense. So these are the kind of redecos they could do far more of instead of these weird neon rainbow secret agent um, engines that they're doing, which I don't really understand at all. Uh, and we've seen that we've got even more weird variants coming out. So uh, I don't know what Mattel's doing. Um, some people have said, oh, they're trying to reuse the old molds um, because of, you know, all engines go. But obviously this is not reusing the old molds because they've had to recast all of this, all of these pieces in new colors. So that doesn't make sense. And also they obviously have to design a new print. So that is also expensive and you have to make the printer, you know, align the printer, whatever they do to make the prints is obviously another process and cost as well. So I don't really think that, that, that theory makes any sense. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's going on, but this one is a good one. I'm really excited to get the Nia. I think she looks really good as well. And um, I think these look great both as a general display item, but also as a bit of a Christmas theme, you know, under your Christmas tree. If you've got a Christmas tree layout, I think these guys will look awesome. Um, yeah, in terms of a price, I have not seen these in Australia yet, but we are still where I am living. Uh, this is today's the last day of, as I film this video of the lockdown or at least our current lockdown. So I haven't had a chance to see if this is available in store, but I bought this from the UK on eBay um, for about $15, including shipping, um, which is obviously way more expensive. These are about $5 in Australia normally. Um, but to me, I actually think I'm pretty happy with that because I didn't have to try and hunt him down. But yeah, if you see this guy, 110%, I recommend picking it up. It's a really good little item, even if you're not a collector of the Thomas and Friend push along. And I think quite interestingly, because he's got this big accessory on the front, it disguises what I've said is the, one of the big flaws of this system, which is, you know, you look at it from the front and Thomas's wheels look really fat. Um, because Thomas's wheels are covered up by the snowplow, I think it, it kind of tricks your brain into not thinking his wheels are as fat and as far apart as they might otherwise be. So if you, you know, don't love that look, this Thomas will fix that up for you. So uh, that's enough of me blabbering about this little item. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Don't forget to do those cool things you do on YouTube. Uh, and as always, that's what we've got time for. This is Extreme Trains.